Hello, hello, hello. OBS decided it was going to change my settings. For whatever reason, OBS decided it was just going to change everything. Right. Hello, everybody. Yes, sorry, I just had to adjust my camera at the start because I've got the new monitor stand things on. Sort of. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I was going to say that this one of them slipped forward a bit, so I was going to adjust it, but then I remembered that's the one that the camera's on, so I probably best not. Anyway. Hello to Nerd East of Nerds, Sophie Jenkins, 98, Sander Moore, uh, Vancouver, I'm not sure, Pancakes Plays, uh, Bernard Winkler, April 042404, 04, 04, 04. uh, I can't the storm was on PS5, so I must improvise, you improvise away, Taze Uland, uh, Zach Hacks, Jimmy Rents, Ben, hello, Addisonian, yes, has this sodding thing finished loading yet? It has, it has. Eight viewers, seven likes already. Well, thank you very much for that, guys. Um, what fun and frolics do we have for you today? Well, 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 well. Um, oh, and of course, the KSP2 recommended system specs have come out. <laughs> which has caused a bit of a fuss, because <laughs> they're quite high. Minimum minimum system requirements 2060, RTX 2060. So my 6800. I mean, the recommended specs. Recommended specs are. They, I mean, they're for 14. They're for 1440p. But they still want a 6800 XT, so I don't even come up to, to that, even with all the money I've spent. My dreams are shattered. I'll still be doing regular KSP stuff. Because it's it's just it's there's There's gonna be quite a lot of quite a lot of bug fixing and um, optimizations going on with KSP2. It it will very much be early days, so we, yeah, we'll still be doing plenty of, um, ah, uh, thingy, who do you flip? What'd you call it? KSP, the original KSP, that's the one. I have received this, this is a fighter I was sent, um, by TBCN, who asked me to look at it in the next, um, in the next fighter clinic, um, which I shall do just before we get on to that. Yeah, I'd imagine. I'd also. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Action. Uh, I would also imagine. Yeah, there is, there is a fair bit of optimization to do, unless they're just going to be like Ark Survival Evolved and just put out a thing and say. Yeah, you know what, screw it. Call of Angels animation. And before we do that, let's just make sure everybody knows. That we are indeed streaming now. So this was from TBCN. So the one I've loaded cannot fly. Yeah, the BD Armory devs are, are raring to get raring to go on the uh, on the old um, um, refactoring BD Armory into KSP2 so I don't know how full a version they're going to give us um, straight off the bat but it should be uh, 
should be fun. Anyway, yes, I was told this is the non-flying version, but it has some fun animations. So just press 5. Zoom in there a bit. Nice. Uh, I just remembered something I didn't do. I didn't turn down the desktop audio. There we go. Also. I turned down the wrong volume, didn't I? <laughs> oh God, how long have I been doing this for? Oh Christ. Ah. Oh. And now my light's fallen over. Yeah, with the with the with the bigger with the monitors now raised up, I've had to do stuff with the with the lights and the little things I've got for them. The cheapy arms that they're on are sort of falling apart, and ugh. Oh. Ah, never mind. Never mind. One day, one of these days, we'll do a stream and everything will work properly. Maybe one day, but not today. Uh, let's get the uh, the patron kerbals out and let's um, let's get this one going. Smith one just a low volume of it was an accident. Well it was an accident. I meant I meant to I meant to put the desktop audio down so that people weren't deafened. And instead what I did was I deafened them and made it so they couldn't hear me. <laughs> uh, stupid OBS putting all of its like volume controls one above the other. What kind of maniac does something like that? Right, uh, I just overshot that, didn't I? Um, okay. How are you doing, Gremlin Laugh, in the first 15 minutes? Might be a record. Gremlin Laugh. Uh, how are we doing? We're about 12 minutes in, 10 viewers. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, another call of angels. Uh, 
So, hang on, just let me check something. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this Tuesday, um, this coming Tuesday, it will be uh, the next first plays. I'll be doing a continuation of Minecraft for that. Um, and the following Tuesday, it's Grand Theft Auto again. And the Tuesday after that, so two weeks Tuesday, will be the next Fighter Clinic, where we will probably be seeing this. Not the animation version, because I can tell you how to fix that. You just stick things on rigidly, like this has it. Um, come on, come on, come on. And now we go down to the bottom of the list. And try and find... The XAF 58B... Typhoon, the improved version of the 58A we've seen recently by username Goodpilot. I I I know that's that's like a Discord username and there's another YouTube username in there somewhere, so if this is yours please make yourself known in the chat because what am I doing putting it there? I'm not I only put it there when I'm doing like three V threes. There. It was an early start today. Anyway. Mm. So what's the... Six days. Six days! Six days until KSP2. Two o'clock in the afternoon. In Britain. And then... A week today, we will have the um, the KSP2 stream uh, get you down on the ground like that are we all good Will Smith I sent you a file If you're mistaking me for Will Smith, there, there, there's there's a lot wrong with you. Not just the eyesight. Um, how are we do? Yeah, okay. Um, TBCN's Call of Angels versus Good Pilots. I say XAF 58B Typhoon. Let's get this one going. So this one is what's today's thumbnail craft. And an improved version of the one I received last week. This one, I don't. But <clears throat> I do like things a bit spiky. Lars Erdnam, hello. Yeah. The competition starts. We are just going to turn on dog bite cams. I can just kick back and relax and. Um, Cause the chair to squeak because it's not proper leather, it's imitation plastic and stuff. Steak! We got the yet another probably something a few weeks ago that we didn't have time to show. Ooh. Game sound is still a little loud. I could notch it down a little bit more. We're just gonna lose. Hang on. Okay, that's about where I have it in the mix when I'm commentating. Um When I'm commentating, ah. I know what's happened. Because I would also, I would also have my mic boosted normally. Okay, let's see if that works. Yeah, it's, um, so that's, relatively speaking, about where I would be 
um, during one of the videos. Head Romney JJ, hello! Oh, damn it. Okay, the Call of Angels, what are the... I... <laughs> In my distracted state, I did not see that the Typhoons were being picked apart. Ghosty Kerman, in all the trouble. Manages to save it. I don't think you're gonna... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna end well for you. I don't know why one of these things is hanging back that much. Closing the distance now, though. I think we know who's won this. I think we know who's won this. Just clinging on for dear life. Oh, ghosty Carmen, give it up, please. Let me make a note of that sneak anyway. Losing bits. <coughs> Still losing bits. The loss of an engine, though, might mean that his actual his fuel use might not be so bad. So he could still do this, just by using, by, by outlasting the other guys. They are getting their, they are not getting their guns on target, are they? They're managing to close to about 500 meters before they're breaking up. Is that because they're, yeah. It's the terrain, oh no, no, Ghosty Kerman's climbed too high. Managed to fend that off, though. We're about. So are we heading back to the to the KSC? We're heading back to land. Oh my god! Ah, uh, no, it's a it's a watery. It's a watery end for Ghosty Kerman. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. maybe. Ghost, Ghosty, mate, what are you doing? Yeah. And BD Armory times times him out. And then the call call of angels. Call of angels is finishes the job. TVCN, hello! Uh, I have not done the yet another prop, so I will have to look that one out soon. Uh, let's have some fun. Yeah, you did tell me it was for like for the Pfizer clinic, but I thought, ah, I'm gonna stick it in here. Chuckle. Sure. Um, we did look at the animation, and then we tried to fly it because <laughs> I know you told me it, you know it wasn't for flying. But oh no, we've run out of fuel. I know you told me it wasn't for flying, but I thought, well, yeah, we're gonna do it anyway. And it was, it was, it was interesting. Oh, this thing has air brakes, doesn't it? I don't know why, I just wanted to land this craft. Oh, 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 ballooning. Ballooning, ballooning. Dropping. Dropping. Dropping.
there we go. So three meters per second is supposed to be the ideal rate to hit the ground at. Oh, there we go. Barely one. We have not looked at the Dragless Fighter. We'll do that a little bit later. Diamond Gut, hello. Call of Angels, sexy, be Typhoon. Congratulations to TBC and commiserations to Good Pilot. Let's go back to the space plane hangout. It's 23 minutes past. Just time for me to say, Super Chat is enabled. If you'd like to help support the channel that way, or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like I'm using here, as well as your name at the end of the video is access to the Patreon and your Discord, some monthly stuff I'm trying to get going now. That kind of thing. Your, uh, your kind contributions have in the past meant, uh, for instance, I have a computer that I can run KSP2 on. So, <laughs> thanks to you guys, you can actually have KSP2. I can actually produce KSP2 content. So, thank you very much for that. Oh, yeah, physics, you only physics range extender and all that gump, won't you? Huh, 15 likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, so there's going to be, there's yeah, there's a lot that needs developing. But, hmm. And then I've got to think how I did. Do I what do we do with KS? Because not everybody's going to have KSP. Sorry, every, not everyone's going to have KSP two. Some a lot of people are still going to be on KSP, but people are going to want to see KSP two content. So do I do KSP two mailbags? Do I do some other thing? What? Ah. Uh. Right, so White Raider 12 sent me in a craft. I have gone straight past it. Fearful 23, which is a ground attack vehicle. Is it a manned ground attack vehicle? It's not a ground, not a manned ground attack vehicle. So there's one thing to do with this. So we are going to test the ground vehicle the same way I always test ground vehicles. And that's by whipping out the scuttler. And no, that is not a euphemism. How would that be a euphemism? Whip whipping out the old skill? Oh, I don't know. It has, as I said, been a long day. Uh, it doesn't matter because this is an unmanned thing. Um, have you there? Fair enough. So how many people here will be looking to sort of like buy KSP2 like the moment it comes out? Who's going to be there like two in the afternoon for Friday or whenever it drops in your location? Um, just there with the payment information, basically doing a shut up and take my money. No, not you. Scuttler, 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 scuttler. Sent to me by Omega. A 
long, long time ago. Brighton race when I'm praying my 1660s. I've made a note of TF2. Um, how far do we want these guys? I reckon about a kilometre would probably do. A sixteen sixty super because they say it's a twenty sixty, and I think isn't isn't the sixteen sixty basically just a twenty sixty but with the with the ray tracing stuff removed, or have I got that completely wrong? Buy it two days later. Okay. Uh, Spot McFart, hello, the toaster salesman. Let's get another scupper out and see. Uh, no, oh, what am I doing? It's down, isn't it? Toy soldiers, scupper. And Josh Kerman. Twenty six, twenty six, twenty eight percent more forms. I think it's like badly been ten seventies. Because that was the, the point of the sixteen series and the twenty series. The, the sixteen series is supposed to be like this the stripped down version which couldn't support ray tracing or didn't have the specialist ray tracing stuff in it uh, right switch teams quick save right fearful f23 what do you have one of them's gone already <laughs> right. Can you? Oh, it can. Oh, it's doing a bit. <laughs> Quick, can I stand you up? Can I stand you up and get you? Okay. And now, of course, this. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, let's turn you all off. these set up wrong or what's going on because that apparently is reverse and you've just got some immobilized some immobilized 50 cals that's sort of a front facing thing okay Surely you'd want, like, all the guns set up to fire in unison. There's some up and down on them, there's no side to side. Okay. Yep, well it kicked the crap out of the scuttler, so seal of approval there. I want another one of these. I want another. Ah, <laughs> uh, I might reload that. Uh, 
Now I look like I'm lesbian even though I'm male. Huh. You in your late teens, nerdiest of nerds, because that'll that that'll just about do it. Almost looks like my grandma can kick the crap out of a skull. <laughs> I know, but they, they just they just have this habit of doing really well. One of them's gone already. I just want to see what happens. Oh, the scut! They're getting some hits in. I don't want to see it from the um, from the fearful's point of view. Yeah, it appears that is that is forward for it. Ion Kerman is now a stationary emplacement. God bless you, I only you're gonna carry it. Oh, no, you're not. Um This is obscene, I love it. We've got a lot more to get through though. Let's just go for a regular uh fight a dog fight now. My grandma can tank 105 hours so I have my puny 23 mils. Smith, I think they may lack electricity. Which 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 ones? The uh, the fearful F23s. Yeah, they oh yeah they were doing they were going a bit weird at times. Now I come to think of it. Uh, oh, I've got... I've got another message. Uh, where are they? Pancakes Plays. You sent me something... Oh my god, I just got a lot of... Someone like tried to send me at a ruffle. Whoever you are, you tried to send me a load of files and all I've got is just a bunch of errors, my end. Pancakes Plays... Ah yes, I got a message from Pancakes Plays, he sent me a craft. Simply called... Fittingly enough. The Smith. Oh, and he said that the Chinese characters hadn't translated, but they have. They're, they're there. Okay. Switch back to the regular Discord. Switch back to the chat window. All right. Yeah. Interesting little biplane. Hmm. There we just we did Iron and Josh, so do 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 so they get lacquered on what will be in these. Did you know I'm in your house? Well, could, could, could you do some of the washing up for us? That'll be really handy. A glass of crude oil a day can match your daily calorie intake. Not, not, not sure about the vitamin content though. Twenty views, seventeen likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Foiled again. Keep bother. I'm just I'm just doing the live stream. You're not making a video, Smith. Just stick him down anywhere. Ugh. 
yeah, everything's looking good. The lights, the lights, yeah, I need to get some new arms. The thing is, I've actually got a couple of cheapy arms to hold them up, but actually, like, to get some proper ones there, a fair bit more expensive than the ones I got. No, I mean, not too bad, but... All, all, all the, uh, my usual disposable income is, or sort of channel income, is all allotted at the moment, so... Maybe just have to um, have to hang fire on getting that fixed. Eh, eh, eh. There. Who else? Who else has sent me something? Ben Aaron. Line troops first in line. What? What, what, what game are you playing, TBCN? Or do I need to contact the authorities? The RF uh, 5B2. Skippy Kerman. Conflict of Nations. Good strategy. I have made a note of it. I shall have a look at some point and see what it's about. Just only something, but it would. Oh, that was you. Yeah, that was. Um, yeah, that that really did not work well. Sandabo, welcome back. Do anything on the gate plane. You go for it. Uh, Skippy Kerman, Sistik Kerman. It is. It is. It is a very Ben Arony style craft. Turn that around, get you down there. Right, let's go for it. So this is Pancakes Plays Smith versus Ben Aaron's uh, RF 5B2 ADV. I do like the biplane feel, particularly the um, just with the tail, the tail, um, the tail landing gear. Nice touch. The uh, the A model did not have the extra wing. Yeah. Competition starts. Oh my god, these things can turn. But the uh, the uh, the five B twos have already gotten had already gotten their missiles away anyway. I have a feeling this will be a good fight. Hello, the chosen one! Yeah, the, uh, the 5B2's really pouring the missiles out. I think of that Kerman really stuck between you know, whether to fire them off or just avoid. Now, still trying to avoid missiles, managing it. It looks like this tactic will pay off for the other uh, 5B2s. It looked like, oh my god, that's a very close hit. Oh my god, it's all going wrong for leg of that Kerman. Not quite out of it just yet. Still has a bunch of, uh, bunch of sidewinders. You can bring that around, maybe get some of those away. Mm, yeah. Feeling the effects now, suffering quite a lot of damage, suffering from not very much of anything anymore. Omelette Kerman. Can he come around? Can he get something away? Has he got any? Um, he's got one sidewinder left. It's that point in the film. No, it's, it's not that point in the film. He's just, he's just 
just going to die horribly. And switch teams, because we haven't seen enough of this one. Oh, that is smooth. That is beautiful. Oh, so close! Trying to come around, it's another joust. Oh, a skippy government's grub. Oh, Jesus, that was close for... Uh, I see that Steak coming in that one. Comes around. I think Steak's kind of getting the better of the uh, the jousts at the moment. Oh, my God, that's a dangerous for skippy Kerman. Comes around again. Oh, my God, it's a hand-to-hand -hand kill. They both killed each other simultaneously. Why won't this do anything? It won't let me do anything. Right. Because um, it's disappeared from... That's the autopilot. Deactivate pilot. There's pretty much nothing I can do for this. Can I, I was just thinking, can, can I possibly land this? No, I don't think so. No. Simultaneous kills were impressive, though. Just you know, people are people are basically paid to have their name on a curb. Well, I think why not? Twenty likes. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, so there's the Smith and the R5B2ADV. Couple from Apu now. Uh well, one from a poo. We'll do them. We'll do this one. Oh, come on, load you bastard! There we go. So this is the first of two from a poo. Didn't mean that to rhyme. I didn't see how many part. I didn't see the part count on this. Oh my god, that's four digits. Ah. Right. Well, this is going to be a while. <laughs> oh god. Why do I? Why do I do these things? Why do I do these things? Have I ever had like a thousand? Because like most craft are about the hundred point mark. Let's say some I do three v three in some dog fights. Um. So like I, six hundred parts is about the maximum. Supergate 2500, hello! Brett Ryland, hello to you! Dr. Napoli, I'm Chen, catching a livestream for a change. Well, glad to uh, glad to have you here. It's, it's, it's not liking this. It is really not liking this. It is completely frozen. It'll, it'll... I've still got to, like, launch this thing, haven't I? Oh, God. I'm just going to slouch, which I kind of can't get away with anymore now that the camera's up higher. Okay. Something's happening. And it ain't my frame rate, because that's 
gone to poo. Oh, Pato and actually this craft file would benefit greatly from the part welding mod. I go for one second and suddenly a racetrack is in the hangar. <laughs> It's the kind of thing I get up to when I'm unattended. Anyway. I'm going to make a note. I haven't looked into the part welding mod. Ah, oh, KSP2. What are we looking forward to in KSP2? I think, because apparently a lot of the parts are more customizable, so more procedural stuff. Hmm. Sorry, I've got... It's a little egg. A little plastic egg. Um, that my little boy got going to a birthday party and had a little toy in it, but now he likes to just play with the egg and put things inside it and open it and take it up. But now I'm fiddling with it, and if I look at the microphone, that creates quite a spike, so my apologies for that. Should turn that entire track into a single part. That would be nice. Ugh. Yeah, so more customizable parts because uh, the um, procedural wings are now standard. Hmm. Well, that's it, Mum. See you later. Good to uh, good to see you. Hope you can join us again some point soon. Twenty one likes. Thank you very much, everybody. How are you doing? 10 to 8. Okay. Okay, so let's work out what the name, what in the name of all sanity is going on here. Let's close that. Okay. What's your view? You are just looking straight up in the sky. That's EVAU. That's quite a that's quite a, a living section for Oh my god the frame rate. I got the frame rate. I think there's probably more cars than this, but uh, electric charge nine thousand. Oh no, that's the. Does this, do I have to detach this? Undock. There we go. Is there a specific way round we have to go here? Oh my god, my frame rate is atrocious. If I turn... Let's get locked camera. Yeah, you're right. This is this is absolutely absurd. Uh, 
I mean, there's some sizable. There's a sizable amount of living space in that little that control building there. Oh, little slope up, little slope down. Someone was getting adventurous when they were making this. Ah, 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 there's a wall, there's a wall, there's a wall. Whew. Nice use of lights. Oh, thank you, Arpato. That would be, um... Yeah, I think we're just going to go around this once. And just a random flag. So wait. Let's close that one up. Let's open that one back up again. So we had a yellow light, we got the green lights, and we've got one with red lights. For you to choose at your leisure. And maybe set off some fireworks. gone through the past the finish line yet, have I? Let's do that. Let's get this sucker over the line. Thank you very much for that, Apu. You try and get the park count down a little bit for ne the next thing you send me, that'll be that'll be fantastic. Yeah. Mario Kart it, it ain't. It's time five to eight. Oh, I'm just gonna Oh nuts. Right. Yeah, so this is gonna be a while to, to load. Let's just see how today's video is doing. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Because this is going to take so long to load back up into the space plant. Well, or is it? Maybe not. Maybe. It's still completely unresponsive. I can't get it to load properly. <sighs> Oh, that's a point. Kerbal constructs. You just make the cut, make the track in Blender, and then yeah, ha. Huh. Make the track in Blender, import it into Unity. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Racing servers on KSP two would be good, though. And I think more likely to be aircraft racing servers. Let's, let's rid ourselves of this um, beautiful and impressive Kraken bait. <sighs> Apu sent me another one. I just want to see how many parts that is. Eight hundred eighty-five. Oh God. Well, maybe we'll look at that. Maybe we won't. We'll have to see. Moving on. Uh, 
the USC 2 by the Real Apple. It'll be interesting, actually. It'll be very, very interesting. Okay, yeah, the Real Apple sent me this, the USC 2. Huh. Going for the missile angle, I see. Um, yeah. Where did we get to go down to our patron kerbals? Watermelon kerbal, Yosemite kerbin. Yeah, watermelon, uh, watermelon kerbin, uh, Yosemite kerbin. My brain just would not process that for a second. Yeah, loading times with lots of mods. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, there's so many things I want. Should, but you know, an NVMe drive should, like a proper NVMe drive, should really be on the list. I mean, do I wait and save up for one of the really, really top tier ones, or do I just go for something mid-range, knowing that it's probably going to be <laughs> between. It's even that's going to be somewhere between five and ten times as fast as my current SSD, anyway. Uh, my clock doesn't show that it's quite eight o'clock. I will launch into that as soon as it does. Seventy mods. Yeah, this is my. This is my BD Armory um, install, and that's that's getting quite big by this point. Uh, so we're going to need another one of these. Uh. Oh. And there is the eight o'clock. There is the eight o'clock. There, there's eight o'clock. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Early start, long day, as I said. Super chat is enabled if you'd like to help support the channel that way, or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like Yosemite Kerman here, as well as your name at the end of uh, videos, that pay access to the Patreon and Discord. Uh, some stuff I'm trying to do once a month, um, some new stuff, that kind of thing. Moving on. Um, Zedkel sent me the latest incarnation of uh, of the KZ uh, the KZ fifty seven. Pineapple apple kitty, hello. Oh my god, that was great. You just missed the 1200 part racetrack. Feel very thankful that you missed the 1200 part racetrack because now you can just go back and see it and skip the bits where we're waiting for stuff to load. those just be running it <laughs> say my name five times fast 
Pineapple apple kitty, pineapple apple kitty, pineapple apple kitty, pineapple apple kitty, pineapple apple kitty. Is it? Do, is, is that it? Is that what I was supposed to do? And the updated KZ57, stick that one there. It's an inside joke with my friends. Fair enough. Well, I'll just say it, say it five times and you will appear. And kill the teenagers at the lake house or something. Let's, uh, let's quick save that. Um, right. Um... So this is the real Apple's USC2 versus uh, ZKL's KZ57. Let's get this one going. Yes, oh, fair enough. Enjoy your murder spree. A little bit of wobble there. Quite a little wobble there. Is these, are these set up? These are set up just for your... Could maybe do with... Bring the authority limit down. <laughs> USCs. Basically a missile platform. How are we doing? We just to see how quickly these can turn. Not very quickly. And given that they are a weapon of like basically a missile platform. That may be of some concern. Are you actually going to get a missile or what? You've got a lock. You've got a lock. Fire a missile. Fire a damn missile. Oh my god, those are going very close. Yeah, they picked the tailplane with the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest. Yeah, let's get that up to. Let's at least try and do something with that. Okay, missiles away. Let's see if I can get hold of the other one. Oh my god, that's getting damaged. Yeah, I know this is going to give it an atrocious response time, but it means it will actually be able to turn a little bit. Yeah, these are not good parts to use for, for, for tail planes. Oh my god, yeah, it's just being stripped of... yeah. And now the USC... T oh my god, yeah, that's, that's going the same way. So, the case of 57s. Good job. Let's do one on one. Ah! Ben Kerman already getting the better of Adam Kerman's car. Adam Kerman might be able to come back into it though. Oh! Yeah, Adam Kerman is missing a bit. Might negatively affect the controllability of his craft. It's going to be a bit of a joust. Is it going to be a bit of a joust? Sort of. Maybe. Kind of. It is like super maneuverable ballet at this point. I mean, it's very nice to watch, but it's it's not going to get us anywhere. There we go, Ben Kerman. Ah, that's the stuff. Nice. Are oh, these things like to fly? Um. They're not bad. Sorry, I just occasionally I get hold of, get a craft in the mailbag and I just have the overwhelming urge to land it. Do these things have these do things do kind of have air brakes? I think, though, if we want to land this thing... Oh, my God. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. 
Well, it blew off a bit of speed, didn't it? I am deficient busy playing. <laughs> I don't know, I receive some craft and I just have the urge to just land them. And this, for whatever reason, is one of those craft. A modest little flyer. Buttery smooth. What about flight to the space plane hangar? So Steak, to restart my PC due to a C kind glitch. Rip your computer. Let's go for If anybody wasn't here earlier, I will be doing KSP two live a KSP two live stream next Saturday. At the same time, seven till seven um, seven p.m. till nine p.m. ish UK time. Um, see where was it? When did you send that to me, Steak? Ah, I see. Yeah, it's there. Um, Yeah, I do like the idea. You need to go with something other than those, um, than those uh, rear control surfaces, though, because they are killing that craft. Oh, I'm so tempted to. I'm so tempted just to actually just tweak them myself. Yet another prop. What are you packing? Any weapons? Any weapons at all? Wait, a pair of sidewinders? Okay, I'm just going to trust this actually has something going on. And do I still have... It definitely has weapons. Okay. And I still have the grab and lava. Okay. Uh, so ghost and GT Carmen. There's a sli something slightly ominous about Steaks. That it definitely has weapons. Hmm. It's 
slash clipped, yeah. Yeah, this this is I think this is just easier. Also if you want a plane whose throttle is like really controllable, you kinda need to do variable pitch propeller. And that's just a pain in the backside. It's manual control. It's yeah. It's it's interesting because I made um my attack helicopter's got a variable pitch um prop on it, variable pitch rotor, and the AI really does not like that. No, it, it it's eh. also the uh, it's like the engines you get like this. They actually have proper sound effects, whereas some of the um, you don't really have anything in KSP with it's like the vanilla, the breaking ground stuff. You don't. They're just silent. Like even the even the stuff that um, uses uh, uses liquid fuel. Just completely silent, and that kind of ruins the um, kind of ruins it for me. Right, grabbing Laufa. We will want the fully armed variety of this. About there. Because huh. I just have that was not clever of me. Because um, I just have constant RPM. The way I had to do it was have constant RPM and then have the pitch of the blades. On the throttle, so by the time the like the pitch went positive, you already had half throttle on the um, on the motor, and that tended to mean it had enough power to keep the rotors going. But yeah, the AI really does not like it. It just cannot work out what to do with it. Alpha this time with Josh German. Stick him there. Turn him round. Now normally you don't get a World War II prop aircraft with heat seeking and radar seeking missiles, as well as two modern bombs, but you know the joy of KSP. Right, um Steak's yet another prop versus I can't remember who made the grab and laugh for now. Whoever it was, thank you very much. <laughs> Why what? Did that just destroy? 
Why are you not? Something's gone wrong with this one. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can touch. I do like that as a nice touch, just the hidden jet fighter. Right. Um, huh. No, that's not going to do it. Oh dear, what a terrible tragedy. Um... Given that these are actually going up against like genuine prop aircraft, I think I'll just do a two two v one. So the grab and laugh has seen more than capable of. Uh, only capable of dodging missiles. I don't know why one of them just failed to um, to work correctly. There. Oh my God, that's. Missing it's uh, it's had a nose job, but I think it's it's capable of uh, carrying on. Oh my god, it's had more than a nose job. It's still val valiantly trying. I think two v one might have been a bit much. But that's what you get from pretending to be a prop aircraft, and then suddenly. I want to take a look at that. Educational part of the stream. <laughs> Bound to action group. Yeah, I sort of guessed that from the fact that it um, it auto um, it sort of set it off. You know, the moment you and the moment I hit the um, I hit the start competition. Let's take a look though. We pick this up, so hopefully it won't harm itself. <laughs> zero just did. I'm not sure what I'm doing by pressing zero, but that was that was actually quite cool. Okay, this is not an easy craft to take off.
Mission accomplished. That's, and that's how the Americans won the first Second World War. I don't need more tea. That was very cash money of you. America. Ah, uh, that, this is, that. I like that. I like that a lot. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, I did say I'd take a look and see if I could get those planes to work. Um, it takes me to the Steam page, but I'm not sure I could actually actually do that through my own Steam. Oh, uh, what was I about to do? We're actually running short of fighters, so I think these next uh, couple I am going to just do against some of my own. So we will look at Action. Uh, we'll have a look at the, the, the Dragless Fighter. We will have a look at Action and his goodbye KSP. Nice. Oh, nice touch with the uh, the gravity gun there. <laughs> Although last time I had a craft that actually hit anything with a gravity gun, it just <laughs> it just looked, it was it was too too tempting for the kraken. Uh, where did we get to with our? Uh, did Leg of that, Kerman. How many mods do I have in my KSP install? Um, current one. Take a few off for the various other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gonna be the squad folder, the yeah, it's a touch over seventy for this install. I didn't mean to click spawn vessel. I don't want to spawn a vessel. I just want to get this thing down the... Oh, I could do, I suppose. If you could DM me a link on the Discord, that'd be fantastic. The goodbye KSP. So sad. I mean, it's not. It, we'll still be doing KSP content, and I'll probably still be doing these KSP, um, you know, original KSP mailbag streams. Because, yeah, for a little while, KSP two is going to be low on content, low on users, high on instability. So. I am gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I will want to do regular KSP2 stuff, so I am gonna have to. Oh god, I'm gonna have to rejig the uh, the live stream schedule. And I, there was something else I want, was just thinking I would like to fit in, but that's that's gonna have to fall by the wayside for the moment. Uh, 
Uh, single engine craft, I'll put it up against my spike tail. We have a built in with a bunch of fixes, including alternate faster vessel selection window. Nice. Get yeah, UI improvements, please. Well, just UI, the UI that doesn't take half an hour to do anything. Oh, easily. Easily need more tea. Eventually. Spike tails. Oh, it's just—it's not the BDA UI. It's the the KSP two. It's the, sorry, not the KSP two. The original KSP UI. It's just uh, so slow. Right, so this is Action's Goodbye KSP versus my own Spike Tail. Let's get this one going. And we've seen my Spike Tail tons of times on this channel, so let's go and look at the good Goodbye KSPs. Competitions. Oh wow, that's around quickly. Not quite as stably as it could have been. My spike tails are around pretty quickly as well. Uh, just the one that's off a target. Probably a good idea when you've just got the six, uh, the six side winders. Hopefully, we'll leave some behind as well for close quarters combat. My spike tails, though, with their uh, with their ten missiles, not quite so reserved. We'll be launching uh, quite a few volleys of quite a few missiles. Goodbye, KSP. Is <laughs> that looks just so weird. Oh my god, one of the other Goodbye KSPs has taken a hit. Nothing fatal. No, has uh, lost all but one of his... his with two of his... still got two of the Sidewinders. Okay. Yeah, okay, this is manoeuvrable. This is quite a manoeuvrable craft. Ah, can't quite get his own missile away. Takes a proximity hit. Comes around. Can't quite bring guns to bear. Yeah, two very manoeuvrable craft, just... Oh. The goodbye KSP. Oh, there's the flash of the gravity gun there. I really want to see these used effectively. I haven't seen them used effectively yet. On oh, no, no, air to air combat. Oh, there we go! Oh, no. One of the spike tails has crashed. I'm assuming that was just due to... it. Was it hit by it? Oh, that was so close! Yeah, that's what happened last time. Spark McFard, hello! Welcome back! Yeah, that's what happened last time, just... Where are we? Various bits of what's huh? Oh my god, the game's crashed. Is that a terminal crash? Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not a terminal crash. Please do not be a terminal crash, because that is gonna Oh no! Oh, 
Oh, son of a whoring, pissing son of a whoring, pissing son of a whore. Twenty-three likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Also, ah. Oh, son of a yes. Exactly, son of a smith. And of course, with more than 70 mods. Um, why? Why, 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 why? Well, let's take a look and see what's going on in the Discord. Not a lot at the moment. Hmm. So, what shall we chat about while we're waiting for this to boot up? The sodding thing. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think KSP2 is going to come with custom throttle axes, which is what I'd really like. If you're just joining us, my game crashed. Um, Kerbal, I'm right. Yes, you are. Uh, have you checked my craft yet? Uh, I tried to look at it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it to load. Um, of course, you know, the moment after I have a crash, that would be when we get in flux of viewers, wouldn't it? Uh. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it from the links you, you've sent me. I have another message from TVCN. Okay, we will do. Yeah, I really want custom, uh, sort of the ability to do custom um, throttle axes because one isn't enough. Like, I mean, you can make variable pitch craft in just now you've got with the breaking ground stuff, you can make variable pitch craft in, well, not stock KSP, but you know, not modded KSP, KSP, KSP. But you don't have enough things to be able to control it properly. MP place, hello. Uh, BDA2 will have a wider range of weapons. I think at the moment, just their first priority is just going to be getting the whole thing refactored. Getting the original BDA armory just refactored into KSP2, just um, just put, get it ported across. And I am told, I am told that work has already begun. But obviously, when KSP2 comes out. It's, you know, they're going to go into, uh, just going to go nuts trying to get that one, um, that one sorted. Fortnite or TF2. Haven't played either of them. Game over. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Loading asset bundle definitions. So, oh no, it's got more ones to do. You haven't played either of those. I do have, because um, um, I do private tutoring. And one of my one of my students is sort of keeps on at me to try and try Fortnite. And I'm like, no, I just <laughs> I don't even have to have enough time to play the games I want to play. <laughs> Inventing witty loading loading hints, yeah. I could really do with an NVMe drive. I kind of have my heart set on this really nice high-end ultra-fast one. I don't think I need that much, but, you know.
Here we go. If you're just joining us, that craft with the repulsor cannon on it crashed my game. Actually, it might, well, certainly release the Kraken. I'm not sure if I, if I'd done, if I'd reacted to it differently, I could have saved it. But there we go. I just watched my craft crashing the game. <laughs> I'm not sure if crashing the game was me pissing about after after the um, after the Kraken a bit. But um, yeah, it proved its name. That's very true. It really did prove it. I mean, there's the craft there. Let's just load. Like the basic. What else do I have? I have one fighter, one, two, three other things to look at. Hmm. What haven't we seen so far? What haven't we seen so far? Seven hundred hours on TF2. Does anyone else have higher? higher? Let's go. The latest dragless fighter. This is by TBCN. The hell is that? Is is that how it's meant to look? Clip everything in line, please. Right, okay. Should probably do that with um, is that in the middle? That's not quite in the middle, is it? There we go. That's like, and that's in the middle, and then you're right in the middle. That looks about right. Yep. I am going to resave that. It's not manned, is it? No. Twenty-seven likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, I nearly forgot to say. Super chat is enabled. If you'd like to help support the channel that way, or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like I've been using here today, although not in this craft because it's unmanned. Um, as well as um, your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon and Discord, that kind of thing. Also, some stuff I'm trying to do, sort of on a monthly thing. I decided to go for more than one exploit. Right now it uses around two. Around two? 29 likes, thank you very much everybody. I mean, two's a pretty low number for using, to, you know, for you to give approximately. When it's definitely gonna be in whole numbers. Uh, 
I think that's the one. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Auto save chip. And it doesn't matter because this is an unmanned fighter. I wonder. They, um, They're um, what 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 are they doing? Uh, strafing key speed. Huge minimum altitude a thousand. Um, are they are they gonna you know try and do something at some point? Any point? Oh my god, they're getting close to the sea, they're getting close to the sea. No, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good. Oh, screw this. So, 822 meters per se no, nearly a thousand meters per second, kilometer per second, sideways at about a kilometer per second. Backwards at about a kilometer per second. This is, what the hell is going on here? Okay, they're closing the distance now. Closing the distance. <laughs> this is just absurd. I mean, it's kind of beautiful, but still, just... What the hell is going on here? How many guns do these things have? The sound bug has kicked in. I can't remember the sound bug kicking in for, like, ages. Are these things out of fuel? Do these things need infinite fuel? Uh, liquid fuel? No, liquid fuel's staying. Oh my god, one of them's taking a hit. One of them has taken a hit, and it doesn't look like it's quite as dragless anymore. Does manage to get away a missile. Comes to nothing. Another one. Yeah, it's 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 got some imbalances going. Oh my god, guns! This thing wasn't firing guns. It's still trying to attack something. It's 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 not having a good time of it. Oh, that's the guns all the way around there. What is this piece of ungodly sorcery? TBCN made a completely dragless fighter. Allow me to demonstrate. A fragile AF. Yeah. Let me show you. So look at the speed, and it's still it's still not slowing down. Look at the G, the G-force, 
no matter how fast I go, that still remains exactly the same. I'm going to have to start tipping it downwards, otherwise we're going to get up to sort of, well, we're nearly orbital velocity as things are. Press F12. I think I'm just going to... What's F12 going to do? Oh, we're going a bit too low. Yep, we're going orbital velocity now. Let's put the nose below the horizon. So for some reason, it has no water collision. Well, why did nobody tell me that? I told you on last mailbag. Press F12. What does F12? Aerodynamics forces overlay enabled. And I've taken a screenshot apparently. You mean Alt F12? You mean bring up the cheats menu? Yep, you're right. This thing has no water collision. Although it can crash into the ground. It can crash into the seabed. Add a kilometre deep. Right. So that is the Dragless Fighter. D light how many how many Gal twenty twos does this thing have? Is that an odd number? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, if you squeeze another one in there, that would be seven. Uh, so 17, 17 gal eights. No, is it 15? One, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15. 15 Gal 22s. Huh. Yeah, if water's models are just another fluid and this is dragless, that, yeah, water wouldn't affect it, would it? Anyway, uh, I have one last fighter that's been sent to me. So we'll go have a look at that uh, and fly it against something of my own. This is the Sky Turtle. I said Kells. Oh my word, that's interesting looking. It's just a giant wing box. Okay. Where did we get to with the video on the omelette, Skippy and Steak, did we? Is it Watermelon Kerman next? A dragless submarine. <laughs> oh god. So it doesn't have drag, does it have buoyancy? Put missiles on it. Thirty likes, thank you very much everybody. Very, very kind. Um so after this what should I put this up against? Uh. 
since we're not looking at I don't know how good this is in combat but I mean compared to one of the like the um, the craft we're currently looking at fossil it's something like fighter subscriber that I mean those craft in the current round have sort of gone through the preliminaries and gotten a phenomenally high score this is a bit more of an unknown quantity so what I might try and do yeah, see if my Lynxes can win a damn fight. Somebody shoots out of the water and flies away at orbital velocity. <laughs> okay, she's okay. Hello to you. And Tolly Polly, hello to you too. It's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a battle of the fat planes. Oh no, because if I put that there, that's going to do the thing, isn't it? Ah. So put you there. Yeah, if you put them the wrong way around, they try and cross over each other after takeoff and. They tend to crash. Ah, uh, so I need another one of my links. Is links, 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 links. Ben Carmen. You taught me the ways of BD Armory for that, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Well, you are very, very welcome. Stick you about there. Um, get rid of us and move a quick save. Oh, teams. Set the teams up right. Quick save. Where are my lynxes? As I mentioned before, the very much the whipping boys of this season of Fighter Subscriber. Manage a victory against. There's almost something a little bit F117 about these, isn't there? <laughs> like an F117 got a bit squashed. Okay, getting up to uh, getting up to distance. How quick are these in the turn? Okay. Oh, a little bit unstable. Manages to get it back under control. Struggling a little bit with that. Gets away a couple more Amrams though. Sticks on dogfight cam. How are the Lynx is doing? They are big targets, but hopefully, um, you're going to lock them with a missile or something? Are you going to get any away there? Nope. Just going to pop a bunch of flares and now get a Sidewinder away. Okay, none of the instability we've seen before, which could have been fatal at that kind of range. Oh my god, one of my links is popping ridiculous amounts of flares there. But uh, I managed to get away with it. The other Sky Turtle. Oh, taking a smattering. Hasn't lost anything vital. Yeah, can't quite line up its guns. Managing it. Oh my god, that was incredible. Just as the Lynx passed through it, just about managed to get guns on target for long enough to... Yeah, wreck this craft a bit. And now Ben Kerman has to be very careful because the slightest slip and he is into terminal flat spin. More damage coming in. More damage coming in. Oh! Rammed each other. Oh, the Sky Turtle lost no parts to the ramming. Oh, and Ben Kerman's having a job here. How's the other Lynx doing? Still got all his Amrams. Has a full load of missiles. That's not good news. 
that really is not good news. He is going to be heavy. What I might do is just maybe jettison a couple of these. Wait, did, did, did one of the Sky Turtles just crash into the ground? Just completely randomly crash into the ground. Eh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, you. Uh, Jetson. Uh, something's happening, something's happening, I'm not sure what it is. Ah! Uh, Watermelon Kerman still distracted by the, uh, by the very, very damaged. Very damaged links. But it's hanging in there. It is hanging in there and giving enough of the distraction to this sea turtle. Cannot quite line up guns. Neither can Adam Kerman's Lynx, though. Gets around. Oh, come on. I spent ages tuning you before this season, if I just describe it. Surely you can just get your guns lined up. Uh, it's run out of fuel. Okay, now's your chance. It is a sitting duck. Look, I'm just going to glide it slowly. I'm just going to slowly glide it. Shoot it! Shoot the damn thing! Right, I'm just going to very, very... Oh, the other one's gone into a flight. I'm going to just very slowly fly this in a straight line. Maybe put a bit more speed on it. Could you please shoot the damn thing? It's not selected. Why is it not selecting? Oh, it had its weapons taken out. That's what's happening. Ah. I think I'm going to have to call that victory for the Sky Turtles. <sighs> Big boy, hello to you. Hello, Maximus Light. That should be the end of the stream, but there's two more things we could take a look at. Yeah, it was a little too close for its remaining missile, but yeah, let's... I just decided to declare a winner and move on. Hmm... 885 parts, or... Thirty-eight parts. Thirty-eight parts. <laughs> right. I'm going to check, see if there were any instructions for this. the super duper cruise missile how does um how does one fire this
maybe it's manual control. Who cares? Let's um, let's go see how this one works. Maximus Light looks like a missile. I think there's a reason for that. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work, so that does those engines. So let's just use those to take it off. I think we're on fairly safe ground there. And I forgot to put the patron cables. Now we can just let the we can just let the, the, the orange shirts have a have some fun for a change. I think this is gonna have to be the last thing we um, the last thing we look at for this stream. Because we uh, we have gone over a little bit. Let's just ease off on the um, engines there, because that's quite all the speed. Oh, it's it's GPS. I don't have any. I don't have any GPS. I have one GPS target. From an old, from an old, um, whatever I was doing ages ago. So it is actually a proper modular missile, huh? I think I'm going to try and fire it as I come round, like that. Well, no, that was that was the GPS target, and if you want something, do it, do it yourself. No, that didn't work either. That I think will have to be all for today. Um. I guess it couldn't stay on target. Oh dear. Right. So that is the last mailbag before uh, before Kest P2 is out. So there'll be a stream of that um, next weekend. Yeah, the missile was sort of working, but uh, I can. Yeah, I'll DM you the. Um, can you just ping me, ping me on the uh, ping me on the uh, ping me a DM on the uh, on the Discord, and I will uh, I'll reply to that just to make sure I remember. But that will be all for today. Um, uh, another first place stream on Tuesday. I'm going to just do a continuation of Minecraft. I think I will try a server of some description. Should really not go in your favour. I will uh, also better stream gets me. Nice. Um, yeah, good luck uh, getting KSP2 working for everybody who um, uh, will be tr 
getting it as soon as it launches, like myself. Um, that will be next Saturday. Um, yeah, a week Tuesday, uh, GTA 5 and blah, 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 blah. Well, to come, thank you for coming along. Thank you very much for watching, for getting involved with the chat. Thank you very much for all the likes. Um, more stuff coming then. Uh, until then, that actually, before I end the stream, because when you end the stream, it treats that as your most recent upload, so I won't be able to see the stats from the most recent video. Okay, interesting. Right. Sorry. Slide aside. Th um, yeah, lots of stuff coming up. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time.